What is up, YouTube? My name is Alex Benega, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing Webflow e commerce, Lomo Pro, and Chain Fuel for Telegram. So, if you guys are new to this channel, I'm a UI UX designer. I like checking out Product Hunt, seeing the products that rose to the top for the day, and basically giving a review on the overall product, the design of the product, the website, and the branding as a whole. So, we're going to start with Webflow e commerce. I am a designer, as I said, so I'm pretty familiar with Webflow, although I've never actually built a, a design in Webflow, but I'm familiar with a lot of the designers I know in the community using Webflow to basically push websites out faster. I believe when you design, it kind of generates code as well. Um, and that's my under basic understanding of Webflow. So let's check it out and let, let, let's go straight into this. So let, let's start with the headline. Your brand is unique. Your store should be too. Okay, off the bat, uh, isn't that what Spotify is? I mean, not Spotify, Shopify. <laughs> like Sp Shopify, you have an online store. So I, I hope they're not doing what I think they're doing because Shopify already is amazing at what they do. Okay. So off the rip, I am actually not too much of a fan of this hero. There's a bunch of blank space right here. It almost looks like with like the blur and the effect that's going on here, like it feels very like ios -y. it feels like apple almost and with the black navigation this feels like it could you know they could have stuck this on apple's page and we would have been like oh nice what's the next ipod or what's the next app coming out and um so i don't i don't know how i feel about that yet but let, let's continue scrolling as you scroll they have this little box and i guess uh this little graphic kind of interacts with your scroll activity which is unique I don't know why it's going for, oh, customize your shopping cart, okay. So they're just showing you like, you can have your your shopping cart look like this, or you can have it look like this. Your products, your products pages, okay. Okay. I mean, this is not a bad website. I do like a lot of the, the, the scroll animation slash interactions, they're nice. They're not bad by any means. And the typography is pretty unique too, right? Like the fact that they just pulled, they basically pulled out and darkened the, the the main headline, the selling point, if you will. So that that's easy to navigate and understand. But something feels like it's missing. I, I don't know what it is, but it, I feel like Webflow is such like a big design company that like maybe a little bit more effort would have been put into this. Maybe that's just me. Um, but for the most part, there's just a lot of white space. I, I do, I think they do a really good job explaining what the product does, highlighting some of the points that basically why you should do this. But at the same time, like, I, I, I think I had an online store once when I was like, maybe a few years ago, I think I was selling something. I forgot, I forgot what I was selling. It was something in like the tech field, very small. I want to say like, it was like swag socks or something like i think i had like a bunch of free uh like tech swag socks and i wanted to like get rid of them and shopify was so easy so i don't know why they would want to you know compete in that sector shopify also has like a big e-commerce community as well so i don't know why why they're deciding to go in that realm but all power to them if it works out I don't use Webflow. I still use Sketch. I like, you know, designing with the free canvas. Webflow is still a bit confusing to me as far as, you know, being able to understand and quickly and effectively just put things on a canvas, use my pen tool, create the shapes I need to, the colors I need to. So I, I don't use Webflow enough to give a super honest review on it. But as far as this landing page, I give it a 7 out of 10. It's not horrible, but it's not as prestigious as I hoped it would have been knowing that this is a targeted product for designers specifically. So that's my review on this, but obviously a uh, great job with, 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 with hitting the numbers they hit 627, 627 is my birthday. So I like that number off the rip and just to get rid of that number, we're going to, we're going to upvote it right there. So let's go to the next product, which is Loom Pro supercharge the way you communicate with quick videos. Okay. Send a video, not a thousand words. Makes sense. A new kind of communication tool that helps you get your message across through instantly shareable videos. Okay, I, I don't know what they mean by that, but 
uh, okay, so screen cam, screen only. Okay, so basically, I, I'm sure it's like a click something. It's basically like uh, if you want to record something and then instantly share it with someone. I think that's what this is. Really cool website, though. I mean, I love... I love this graphic in the back and the way that the text kind of sits on top of it. The grid there is nice. Nice little scroll parallax effect going on where they're bringing in new uh, graphics as I scroll down the page. Super fun and creative. And I mean, just this is a cool site. This is actually a really good site. See, this is what I was I was expecting with Webflow. You see the difference now, guys? This is... This is inspiring, intriguing. I can come back to this site for inspiration and be like, like this section right here is great for uh, showcasing testimonials or logos and all that. And I can use this as inspiration down the line. The Webflow website that we just checked out, I, I really can't use anything here. I mean, maybe these icons, right? These icons are nice. Um, but for the most part, I'm not going to come back here for inspiration. Right, this even this hero graphic, this hero banner. If I was obsessed with it and loved it, I would actually diverse more towards like an app store uh, by Apple uh, graphic, just just to kind of, you know, copy or mimic that rather than even this. But this is nice. This is a nice website. I love the effects, how big the typography is. It's different. That is a little awkward though. When I scroll back to the top, I'm sure this is a bug because there's so many parallax things going on here. Um, this is obviously a bug where there's no text until I just clicked it. But let's try if I let's see if I can get that up there again. So I just scroll to the bottom, scroll to the top. There's nothing, but when I click, did I click? Yeah, and I just highlight down. It, it brings up the text. So that's just a small bug, but that doesn't distract me from giving these guys a solid nine out of ten uh, for this website. Just super clean, easy to digest, uh, creative, fun to navigate through. And super easy to understand what's going on here. So shout out to shout out to Loom. Um, I don't really send a lot of videos out, like quick links or anything like that. So, um, but maybe for future reference, I might. So if I ever have to, I definitely would check these guys out. But solid website, nine out of ten. And shout out to the people who did that one. For the last one, Chain Fuel for Telegram, a tool to help you manage a Telegram community. I have no idea what Telegram is, but let's check it out. Okay. Thank you. Telegram analytics, anti-spam, and engagement a hundred or a hundred percent for free. Okay. Okay. A quick scroll through. This is a website that's like a six out of ten, right? There's they're they're doing nothing here horrible. They're doing nothing here bad, but nothing stands out, nothing super creative. This the, this product shot in the top right is pretty small. It, the navigation seems like it's part of the laptop, which is a little awkward. Um, this is obviously cool. Right? Like they, they, they put like the book that I guess you'd be getting, um, the free ebook that is basically marketed. The, the reason the site exists is to try to get you to download this ebook right here. So they're displaying it pretty neat, neatly there. And then track, protect, and retain your Telegram community instantly. I don't know. I don't even know what Telegram is, to be honest. So I can't honestly say if this is great or not as far as the website it, it actually looks like a template if i'm not mistaken um i'm also going to put these guys on blast real quick because if we go to stripe right here this button right here looks almost identical to this one so i'm wondering if they like stole the css or something if you see this little uh notification right here that says new introducing stripe terminal it's basically the same as this new introducing Chainful Pro, so uh, they're, they're, they're copying a little, not a little bit, a lot of Stripe right here. I'm not going to nag them. We've, we've all took something from Stripe um, and whatnot. So, uh, you know, it, it, part of a de the design community knows Stripe is, is one of the best websites out right now. So anytime you can, you know, pull some inspiration, it's never a bad thing. But that's a little too close for comfort if you ask me, but to each their own in the design community. But overall, this is a six out of ten. Nothing crazy going on here. Um, I don't. I don't use Telegram. I don't even know what it is to be honest. But um, not a bad, not a horrible, not a disgusting site. But not something that I'd come to for inspiration. So that is all we have today, YouTube, for our three top products on Product Hunt. Um, we're gonna be all week just doing these. So if you guys wanna tune in, if there's one that you want me to do, you can email me in the email below. But until next time, YouTube, I'm out.